Well, tell us the story mm -hmm. about that first deal and how in the world did you do it with only a thousand dollars and what kind of creativity did you have to bring to the table? Right, right. So, uh, as I said, I was, uh, once, once I had that, that epiphany, we'll call it in the middle of the night, I, uh, everything I did from that point forward was to put me in place to be able to buy property. So I was surrounding myself with other investors by going to meetings constantly and, uh, through, and then I just decided like that next morning, I knew that this was going to be the path I took. So I just started telling people I was a real estate investor. I had no money, never bought a property, didn't know how to buy a property, but I was telling people I was a real estate investor because I firmly believe that this, this life, this world gives us what we put out into it, which you get what you give. And so I just decided to put it out there. I'm a real estate investor. Nothing's going to stop me. That's what I'm doing. And uh, that word of mouth is how I landed my first deal. A buddy of mine heard that I was buying property and he was in a really, really tough spot with a house that he owned. He had to sell it in 30 days. He needed to get X amount of dollars for it. He didn't care for what the house was worth. All he cared about was getting this amount of money because I need this amount of money to go buy my next property. And he said, if you can close on it in 30 days, you can have it for this price. I don't care how much equity is in it. That's all yours. I just need this amount of money. And so I said, sure, I'll buy your property. I had no idea how. I had $1,000, but I was going to do it. So, <laughs> so, I, uh, <laughs> so, I, uh, so what happened was, because I was surrounding myself with other investors, I had people to bounce ideas off of. And a buddy of mine, I called him and I said, hey, I got to buy this house in 30 days. What can I do? What can I, do? I, have, I need $19,000 uh, to, to, to put down on the house. I, I'm sorry. I need $20,000 to put down on the house. I have one. So I need to come up with $19,000 in 30 days. And so uh, I started looking around my house at all the things I could sell and I couldn't come up with $19,000 stuff. Uh, so uh, he uh, brainstormed with me. And, and really what happened was, was he really gave me my first lesson in entrepreneurship because after I figured that I didn't have enough stuff to sell, like that's all I could think of to do. I didn't know anything else to do to generate income. And he said, Henry, if you want to be a successful real estate investor, he was like, you need to figure it out. He was like, I could buy this house. It's a great deal, but I'm not going to buy it because you need to figure it out. And that was like, that was the first time, like my mindset shifted from like, I can't to how can I? And mm. once I had that mindset shift to how can I make this happen? We started brainstorming different ideas and we landed on the idea of a 401k loan. I didn't know a 401k loan was a thing. I thought you just could withdraw money from a 401k and pay the penalties and interest and fees and all that. And so through some research, we found out you can, you can borrow against your 401k and then you pay yourself back with monthly payments. You pay interest, but it's your money. So the interest you're paying goes back to you. Does your credit have anything to do with borrowing against your 401k? No. That's a writer downer right there, folks. So Henry Washington just gave you a great big old gold nugget. If you need money to buy a house and you don't have any private money uh, lined up like you should, and but you got a retirement account like Henry, you can borrow against your retirement account and your credit score has got nothing to do with it. That's a great big share right there, Henry. Absolutely. Uh, and so the, the, what had happened was I didn't have a 401k because remember I was bad with my finances before, mm -hmm. and, but my wife did. Uh -huh. She, we borrowed against her 401k. Your employer takes the payments for your 401k back, your 401k loan. It takes them directly out of your paycheck pre-tax dollars. So it actually reduces your taxable income, which is a benefit to you. You pay yourself back with interest, which is a benefit to you and then if, if you buy a cash flowing asset you're essentially buying an asset that pays you cash flow and that cash flow technically covers your payment so my asset was paying back the 401k loan with interest so i went from not being able to buy a property to then buying a cash flowing asset that was paying for itself as well as paying for the loan i used to, to buy it with and that was my like light bulb moment to see how powerful real estate was because I took monopoly money essentially and turned it into a cash flowing asset in 30 days.
Thank you.